Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas, your friend and tutor. And it's going to be problem number three in this lecture series on graphical analysis of forces. Here we go. Let's kick off. Um, so there are a bunch of forces. How many? Five of them. Acting at one of the angular point of a regular hexagon. So all these forces are acting on any one point of a regular hexagon. Right? So regular hexagon is such that all the sides are equal. Okay, towards the other five angular points taken in order. So let's let's start with this 20 newton force. Okay, um, let's kick off with this this side. Right. So this corner will be taken into consideration. So we're gonna have to um, direct all the forces one by one towards all these corners. One, two, three, four, and five. All these corners in this order: 30, 40, 50, 60. So this is gonna be 30. This is 40. That's 50. And finally, we have this as force of 60 newton magnitude okay but what we need to do is we need to find the resultant of all these forces and its direction so magnitude and direction both of them have to be found out now this is going to be very simple the first thing that we need to do is we need to take a scale okay now the most convenient scale would be let's say 20 newton is equal to 2 centimeters and in that sense what i can write is 10 newtons is equivalent to 1 centimeter First of all, let me change this pen color. Yeah. Okay. So, what we'll essentially do is, let me find out the angles. So now, guys, you can clearly see this side and this side. Both of them are equal, right? This angle over here, since this is a regular hexagon, all the internal angles are 120 degrees each. This is going to be 120. Now, if these two angles are same, why are these two angles same? Because this is an isosceles triangle please see where the mouse is hovering you can clearly see this side and this side okay both of them are equal therefore the angles opposite to these two sides are also going to be equal so let's say if this is x and this is x x plus x plus 120 is equal to 180 for this being a triangle and you can work out that value of x is 30 degrees anyways this is going to be 30 degrees and in the same manner this also works out as 30 degrees and if you watch carefully guys this angle over here will be how much now since this is the internal angle that's 120 degrees out of which this is how much that is 30 so 120 minus 30 is nothing but 90 degrees now in the same manner you can actually work out this is going to work out as 30 degrees right and this is also going to work out as 30 degrees so that when you add all these angles 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 this internal angle this complete internal angle between this 20 newton and 60 newton is going to work out as 120 degrees okay so that was all about the forces directions right now what we're going to do is quickly we're going to take this scale into account and we are going to make a force diagram and let's start with this point o over here so initially right we have to draw a line over here absolutely parallel to this 20 newton force now corresponding to 20 newton the length by which it will be shown in the force diagram will be 2 centimeters so this is going to be 2 centimeters okay now you need to keep your roller scale lined up or aligned along this 30 newton force okay you need to roll it down and then corresponding to this 30 newton you need to draw a line of 3 centimeters this way this is going to be 3 centimeters that means um, this is essentially 30 newtons and this over here represents a force of 20 newtons same manner you need to keep your roller scale aligned along 40 newton force roll it until you reach point b draw a line now this line that you've just drawn is having a length of 4 centimeters right or in the other way you can also say that a line over here of 4 centimeter is representing a force of magnitude 40 newtons and then finally we have this 50 newton force so it will be represented by a line of 5 centimeters somewhere here in this way okay this is gonna be how much that's gonna be 50 newtons do we have any other force yes this one is still left so corresponding to 60 newton you have to draw a line of 6 centimeters make sure it is absolutely parallel to this force the 60 newton force right over here so for that you have got to use make use of a roller scale this way roll it until you reach point d then draw a line and this is six centimeters representing a force of 60 newtons so this is the order in which i have put up the forces 
but the resultant will be taken in the opposite order to complete the polygon and this is the resultant okay and if you were to calculate the value or the magnitude of the resultant the magnitude of the resultant is nothing but the length of oe or the closing side and if you try to measure this length with the help of a simple scale then this is going to probably work out as not probably but precisely work out as 15.5 centimeters and we know 1 centimeter is equivalent to 10 newton so in place of centimeter you can put 10 newton over here and this is going to be written as 15 to 10 newtons so essentially this can be written as how much well 155 newtons so this essentially is an approximate value because this is a graphical technique you cannot get the absolute value there is bound to or you are bound to get some 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 or the other error okay now let me go ahead and let me tell you what this angle is if you keep your protractor over here this is the angle that the final resultant makes with the horizontal and the angle that it makes should roughly work out as 75 degrees that's that's a pretty much a rough estimate and in order to get the absolute value what you need to do is you need to apply the what you call the analytical method and i've already solved that okay this on this piece of paper you can clearly see that all these forces red colored ones are the ones uh, in the vertical direction whereas the these forces are in the horizontal sense so all these forces which were acting over here in this point have been resolved into components over to this side you can clearly see this resolved into components okay and summation of f of x has been calculated f of y has been calculated both of them have been put up over here in this formula and the value of resultant that we have finally achieved is 155.8 and we are pretty much close okay in the graphical approach we got a value of 155 in the analytical approach we've got a value of 155.8 you can clearly see that there is a difference of 0.8 newtons which is pretty much negligible don't worry and then finally the value of theta that you're going to get is 76.65 okay now guys watch carefully we've got both positive values of f of x and f of y okay in that sense if you if you were to draw a quadrant system this is positive fx this is positive y that means the resultant will be or has to be lying in the first quadrant making an angle of say theta with the horizontal and this theta is how much precisely 76.65 degrees with the help of this analytical technique okay so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics well then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update Needless to say, I'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day and keep learning. Thank you.